it's Kelly. Thanks for joining me again at Mama Needs a Goal. Today we're here in my kitchen and I'm trying out a new recipe. It's an easy low carb Greek chicken bake. It sounds really yummy and I thought that many of you would be interested in this dish as well. So let's get cooking. So as you can see I already have my chicken breast laid out here and now I'm going to go ahead and season them with my Greek seasoning. This I could not find in the grocery stores anywhere, so I found it on Amazon, and I will link this seasoning below um, in the description of this video so you'll be able to find it. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle this on my chicken. And that. Nice and good. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip my chicken over, so we want to season both sides, okay. This smells so good. Okay, now that my chicken is seasoning, seasoned. I'm going to go ahead and get the pan heated up and get that olive oil nice and hot so we can go ahead and get our chicken cooked. Okay, I have my oven preheated to 375 and the oil is nice and hot now, so I'm going to go ahead and start cooking my chicken. I'm going to cook it on, can you hear that sizzle? I'm going to cook it for two minutes on one side and then we're going to flip it and cook it for another two and a half minutes or so on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and let that cook for two minutes and then we will flip it. Okay, now that my chicken has cooked for two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. The recipe says to not overcook the chicken because it'll be going in the oven and it will dry out. So look how yummy that looks. Okay, so now we're going to let this cook medium-high heat for another two and a half minutes and then we'll remove it from the pot. Okay, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the flame. Oh my goodness, I got a lot of mess here. This has now cooked for two and a half minutes. Look at that golden brown. Oh my goodness, the oil's flying everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and take this off and put it on a plate so it can cool down so I can cook it. Okay, let's put this over here. Okay, I have my chicken off on the side cooling and I have my um, baking dish sprayed with some Pam. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut up the tomatoes for the dish. We are not a big tomato family, so I am not going to use a lot of these, a lot of the tomatoes. So now I'm going to cut up my Kalamala olives. chicken has cooled down a little bit. The recipe says to cut it in lengthwise strips and then lay it in my baking dish. So I'm going to get started and cut up the rest of this chicken here. Thank you. 
Okay. Now all my chicken's been cut up and I've laid it in my dish. And as you can see, it's not fully cooked because it's going to be going in the oven for a little while longer and it'll finish cooking. But I'm telling you, I wish we had smell of vision Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So let me go ahead and get the rest of the ingredients put together and get this in the oven. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and put in our tomatoes and pepperoncinis. We're just going to sprinkle that on top, just like that. Like I said, we don't eat a lot of tomatoes, so I kind of went light on the tomatoes. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and put my Kalamalo olives on. These are my favorite. As you can see, I'm a little more generous with these. Okay, and then we're going to add some feta cheese. I already have some here that's open. So we are going to sprinkle this on top. Okay, so now we're just going to add a little bit of pepper on top. Little bit for taste and now we're going to go ahead and put it in my preheated oven 375 it's going to bake for about 25 minutes and it says the cheese will start to bubble so here we go okay let's see Oh, oh my goodness, this looks delicious. Oh my goodness, look at that. a two thumbs up we absolutely loved it the flavors in that was absolutely wonderful they worked well together I couldn't say enough about it so hopefully you'll like it too as you can see my plate's empty thanks again for joining mama needs a goal I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below thanks so much see you next time